just woke up probably 30 minutes ago, if that. Um, I only got like five hours of sleep, four or five hours of sleep. This morning, Castiel has a grooming appointment, so we are gonna be taking him to the groomer and getting him washed and all shaved down, and we'll record the results of it all. He's gonna look so cute. This is his first time being professionally groomed because I wanted to teach myself how to groom, so I've been doing it myself and also it's cheaper that way. But it's a lot of work and I just do not have the energy for that currently, so we're taking him and getting him professionally groomed this time, which I'm excited about. I'm excited to see how he turns out. We will also be filming another video today. It's gonna it's gonna be a different kind of video. It's gonna be not a vlog, it's gonna be a how to train your service dog or service dog in training DPT or deep pressure therapy that's used for a multitude of conditions you know it ranges from chronic pain to anxiety disorders to just so many different things and I'm gonna to touch on that in the video I hope you guys will like that I'm going to do like two parts to it one with McGee and one with Cass cuz I think that'd be kinda of cute to show both of them doing it and I think I trained them both different ways too. Something about my dogs is Cass and McGee are very different with their training methods and it probably has to do with the breed, but I wanna, I'm wanna. i also gonna touch on that a little in my DPT video. I hope you guys like it. And I hope Cass isn't ruined by the groomers. I'm taking him to PetSmart and I know there's all this controversy around PetSmart and so many different things. But I've taken McGee there, and my husband used to work there, and the groomers there are just the sweetest. And I've seen some of their work before on poodles, and then it looked amazing. So I'm very hopeful that we'll get the right treatment, and Cass will turn out looking great. First time, I'm really excited. And here's a good boy. <laughs> Castillo! He's got to mark everything. Gotta go get dirty before he gets groomed. He just walks through like all the bushes and gets stuff stuck in his fro. Are you ready to get Cass groomed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Castillo! He's not gonna come back to me right now because he's got to get his sniff on. <laughs> Go poop! Go poop! Oh, he's going! <laughs> Cass, he burped. You ready to go? Come on, let's go. Heel. Wait. Good boy. Stop. Good job. We are here at PetSmart. We're gonna go in and get him groomed. I'm not gonna film in the store just as a respectful type thing, but here he is before. Cass, you ready to go get groomed? Yes. Hey, eyes. Castillo, what are you looking at? <laughs> he's just excited. I think he's excited. You ready to go in? I just dropped Cass off. Ah, he was like kind of scared, but that's just part of him having to learn to get used to the professional groomer. I hope he does good. I'm nervous. I gave them some treats and a toy to give him in case he's like stressed or whatever to motivate him. So fingers crossed, it won't be too traumatic of an experience. Let me start this story with, I haven't been to Burger King. Well, I've been to Burger King, but I don't go there often. And I never get food or drink for myself. And I sure the hell don't get coffee because I cut out caffeine over a year ago. Today, I decided I want some coffee and we go to Burger King. And I was like, oh, do they have the BK Mocha Joe? If anyone remembers 10 years ago, it was like 10 years ago because I was still in high school and I used to come here all the time. If anyone remembers, they had, Jesus Christ, learn how to try it. 
<laughs> well, anyways, they had iced coffees called BK Mocha Joes, and they were mocha flavored, and I used to get them like every single day because I was in theater and sleep deprived. Well, I go there and I'm like, you know what I could go for? A BK Mocha Joe. And we ask them, uh, do you have any BK Mocha Joe? And the person's like, BK Mocha Joe? What? And I was like, well, they were called that a long time ago. So he's like, they just call them iced coffee now. And I was just like, I feel old. I got myself iced coffee. This is the first time I'm having coffee with caffeine in it in like over a year. Well, here we go. It's gonna make my pot flare so bad and it's gonna make my stomach hurt so bad, but sometimes you do stuff that you know is bad for you because you just miss it and that's how I feel with my coffee. <sighs> well, that was very disappointing. I took a sip, first sip of the coffee and it is nothing like the old BK Mocha Joes. It tastes like booty. What the hell? You should be ashamed, BK, Burger King. Bring back the BK Mocha Joe. This iced coffee crap is, tastes like poop. Bring it back, this is gross. Luca just got back from the groomer. Look at you, Cass. Come here. Oh my God. Jump, jump, come here. Sit, sit, stay. No, stay. Go sit. Good boy. You spin. Come on. Oh, got one. I didn't get it. Spin. Come on. Come on, spin. <laughs> that was like an in the air spin. Wait. Spin. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're being ran a bunch of sit. Sit. You're so cute watching. Cast watching. Touch. <laughs> Come on. Let's go inside. Come on. You. Go, go home, go home, go home. You look so weird. Six? No. No. Six. You're being silly. Good boy, good job. Sit. Cass, watch me. Hey, eyes. Good boy. my favorite planters because EDS wrists is what we like to call them. The face is saved. Bummer. And the store I got it from doesn't even sell it anymore. Okay, we, we got home recently 
we finished our training outing with Cass and we grabbed Cards Against Humanity to play with some friends tonight. I am going to end the vlog here. This was my vlog for essentially a little of Saturday, Sunday, and mainly today. I take the weekends to myself typically. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I have lots of ideas for more videos. So please subscribe and just stay tuned for all of it.